Um, yeah, it's my first time visiting Seoul, Korea, and uh, super excited to be here. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, got to see a little bit of the sights this morning, and we've had some good Korean uh, food last night and, and today for lunch. You know, it's an honor, it's a privilege to be able to have a shoe uh, last 30 years, in, you know, in the making. And um, yeah, I'm excited for the celebration. Uh, it's been getting a lot of attention this whole year. And I'm excited to see what comes next year. <laughs> Yeah, it was actually the the first signature shoe, which is up up there, right there. Actually, that's an original pair. If you want to grab it, so this is the uh, this is the very first original high top Caballero shoe, which this is actually made in USA. So this is an actual pair from back in 1989. Uh, we cut the top here uh, three years later, and then we created the half cap. So that's the evolution of this shoe. I'm not sure if that's true, but um, I guess people have, have said that Javante may have been the first. Um, I'm not really sure. Well, I saw people doing it, so after seeing a bunch of skateboarders, you know, cutting the, the shoe in half, um, I started wanting to, to follow that trend and I would cut my own shoe and then after the second, probably the second or third pair, um, I decided to call Vans and ask them if we could actually produce a shoe um, like that, a lower tuck uh, cut. And uh, let's just name it the half cap, you know, and they agreed and here we are 30 years later, uh, still in the Vans line and uh, super excited to celebrate this year. I guess the way to control your mind as far as the longevity in the sport is to just always have a focus um, on a positive mental attitude. You know, always be positive and always try to um, not take too many chances but make calculated choices. So um, when you're skating, because it's such a dangerous sport, that you don't get too many injuries. So um, I, I, it's a lot of focus, a lot of determination, and a lot of practice. And uh, a lot of just kind of just testing things out and not just going for it. You know, take little baby steps when you uh, are approaching skating. Um, and that way that you can maintain, you know, a healthy lifestyle being a skateboarder because it's, it's a dangerous sport. <laughs> The common thing with all the activities that I do is basically um, putting yourself in vulnerable situations um, and just trying to see how far you could take anything. You know, uh, basically I have always used the skateboarder's approach of fail to succeed, which means that you know you're not going to be good at something that when you first try it. You're going to be terrible. So as long as you don't care about what other people think and say while you're learning, focus on just the progression of, of what you're trying, you can get past you know uh, that hump of all the failures and be successful at whatever you do. But it's just lots of hours, lots of dedication and perseverance, and um, just overcoming your fear, you know, overcoming your fear of failure, and uh, which leads to success in anything that you put your mind, put your heart to, you know, those, those are the things that you need uh, to shine in any field, you know, and that's what I've done when it comes to music, comes to art, comes to things outside of skateboarding, I just kind of use that same mentality that I've used uh, to become a professional skateboarder. Um, well, I say the difference is definitely not the attitude because everyone is always trying to be creative with skateboarding, always trying to push the limits of skateboarding, try to see how far they can take it. I, I would say the only difference that there is is there's more places to skate now. Because back when I first started, it was very limited. You know, we didn't have free public skate parks all over the world. And now you can go to any city, any country, and there's skateboarding. So it's definitely more accessible. 
and it's definitely helped people uh, progress at younger younger levels and and skateboarding is now being introduced to younger kids as as old as like four or five years old you know I didn't start skating until I was 12 um, I just want to say thanks Korea for all the love and support and I appreciate everything that you are doing to help uh, push skateboarding and also support the brand Vans and also the half cap shoe so thank you very much I appreciate you Thank you. Yeah. Much love. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, smaller. Baby love. Yeah. <laughs>